Hello everybody, Spirit Gaming here and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Now, uh, in today's video, of course it will be a bit controversial, but I have to say that um, I did get an inspiration to do this video from Mtash when he made why I'm quitting Genshin Impact video. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not quitting Genshin Impact. I will still play the game whenever a new update comes out. However, I do want to address why actually people are leaving. Not, I don't want to address why Mtash is leaving, he has his own reasons. Some of his points were good, some of his points were bad, I do not care. It's his choice. But I'm wanting to address like why other people are leaving and not just him. There are like many, many, many people that even I know that are leaving the game because of known problems. And especially the new update which is very like extremely lackluster I would say. It is one of the, uh, one of those updates that people were expecting way more of. And the people that think that it's gonna be very good and it's gonna change the game are gonna find out the hard way that it won't even change the game at all but I will I don't know if I talk I will talk about this in this video but yeah let's get to the problems of the game and of course please white knights don't make the game be perfect it's not a perfect game Genshin Impact is not even close to a perfect game please I don't want to see in the comments that it's a perfect game and it has zero problems because it has many many problems it has many good sides it has many bad sides like the game has a lot of bad sides as well, just like every other game. It's not a perfect game, please don't tell me that it's the perfect game, because there have been people that have been doing that. Now, the first problem that I'm gonna talk about, but not too much, because everyone knows it, is the resin system, of course, I'm gonna skip through this part, is a resin problem, uh, I just want to compare it to like a PC game, and um, a PS4 game called uh, Warframe, right? Warframe, we, most of you know Warframe if you're a PC gamer, especially because it's out on Steam, it's one of the most played games on Steam. Now, this game is PvE, has a story, has uh, characters, has weapons, and so on and so forth, right? Um, well, Warframe, same, has the story, has awesome graphics, this game has awesome graphics, that game has awesome combat, this game has awesome combat, everything is very awesome in both games. However, this game has a resin system, I'm just giving you guys a, a quick like explanation why I think it's very bad. This game has the resin system that doesn't let you play for however long you want, while Warframe has no such thing. You can play for however long you want and however you want. Yes, Shunpak, yes, you can play however you want, but not for however long you want. Uh, so that's the biggest problem uh, and I do feel that this game is mainly made for the mobile population not for a PC or the PS4 population uh, especially because of the resin system as I said it's not meant for people to play it for long periods of times uh, during the day during the night or whatever it has a limit on how much you can play during the day uh, during one day right so that's one problem i do not want to compare those two games but it's just like the closest thing i would get to like a pve co-op game that has awesome graphics awesome pve has characters and has weapons uh, however there's another problem um this game i feel like got launched as an mmorpg uh, many people thought that this game was gonna be a very like mmorpg type of a game but in reality, it's just an Argacha game that's done amazingly. It, it is one of the most amazing games that has come out during 2020, even though there were not that many. I guess Valorant came out and so on and so forth. But yeah, it's one of the best games, I would say. Top 10 for sure, top 5 even maybe uh, on uh, this year. But yeah, I do feel like it was launched like an MMORPG. Many people fell for, tra for that trap, uh, like went up got to almost max uh, AR level I would say until you cannot even grind anymore for AR levels uh, got all the chests, got all the achievements done, got everything done and after that there is legit nothing else to do well in MMORPGs even if you max out your character even if you do many many things most things in the game there is still something else to do however when it comes to Genshin Impact the only thing you can do is do daily quests and that's basically it so uh, yeah, the problem was the launch as well. Another thing the pro uh, that was a problem with the launch was the no quality of life changes, which are coming to 1.1 right now, but I feel like it's too late. Now, of course, Genshin Impact launched at a perfect time. There were no new games, there were no new popular games except Among Us, but this game and Among Us don't really compare each other well. It's completely different genre and everything. So they find the perfect time to launch the game 
and it was a massive success. However, would it be would have it been really bad if the game launched one month later with all those quality of life changes that we are getting in the 1.1 update? Because I will tell you right now, the 1.1 update is dog crap. It's so bad. Uh, now, of course, quality of life changes are amazing, but where can we use those quality of life changes? Can we use those in dailies? No. Like we are just gonna still it's still gonna be the same thing. We're gonna do dailies, we're gonna do of course the commissions are the dailies, we're gonna spend a resin, we're gonna do storm terror and wolf boss every week, and that's it. Of course they will add a story or two, uh, and they will add a reputation system, which again is some missions, and that's basically it. There is no other new content in the game. The only thing you will be able to do is continue to max out your characters and continue to max out your weapons on those characters and that's basically it. There is legit nothing else that you will be able to do. You will be able to do Abyss once you upgrade those characters and that's it. You will be stuck for 2 months after that anyways after you beat the second floor. Uh, another floor that you are stuck on, right? So, uh, I would say that this will... Uh, go into the lack of content problem. I probably should have mentioned that too uh, But yeah, I feel like um, there is a very big lack of content again I don't want to compare games right now, but I will compare it again to Warframe right to Warframe again You can max out your characters like every single one of them There are still things to do and prepare for the next updates But this game doesn't really have that since it's so easy, I don't need to prepare for the next update, guys. There is no no reason for me to prepare for the next update when the game is not challenging at all, which is another problem. Uh, casual players, yeah, may have it challenging a bit, but hardcore players that play a lot of PC games, especially because this game is very easy on the PC, unlike on the phone, um, that play PC games don't find this game challenging at all, and it actually is not challenging at all. So for example, I'm low AR still, I'm 34, 35, I'm not sure exactly, but the I have been playing for what? I got that in 2 or 3 weeks, because I'm not one of those players that just rushed through every single AR and wanted to play a lot. Uh, I just played like for the story, I played for the characters, I played to learn something new, and I played for the basically the looks of the game, because it, the feel of playing this game is just very good. But the game is still very very easy, it doesn't even matter, even if I try, even if I don't try, I did my one life challenge and the way I died was I fought like four of those, I think it, no, four or six of those big mobs <laughs> and that's how my characters died without, I didn't even use food, I, wa I wasn't even using food at all, I could have used it but I didn't want to. And I even set the challenge where I cannot even teleport when I'm in danger because the game was so easy. The game is super easy. It doesn't. I'm not the type of person that plays games that are not challenging at all. Even the PVE games that you play all around, like Steam, you can find games that are completely PVE that you need to do stories. They still have a challenge on them, right? They are still pretty hard to do. So yeah, that's another big problem, I guess. The how hard the game is and how like easy the game is not really hard next up of course is the a lack of characters that you can get now yeah this is one of if not the biggest problems as well you cannot get many characters especially as a free-to-play player or even as a spender if you're a spender you have to use up thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars well if you're free to play then <laughs> good luck even if you're lucky you will not be having many characters, trust me. Even if you're lucky, you're not gonna have more than 15 characters. I would say. I would say. Uh, or even less. Pr probably even less, most likely. But you won't be having many characters, even if you get, like, lucky and get a new character in every single pool. Uh, that's one of the biggest problems. And then, uh, this problem goes into the lack of primo gems as well. So yeah, you can get Primo Gems for anything you do in the game, you can get Primo Gems from uh, chests, you can play, get from stories, you can get from subquests, you can get it from anything, basically even exploring the world gets you some. So what's the problem then, right? Well, guys, like getting a small amount of Primo Gems does not mean anything because the cost, the cost of getting good weapons and good characters is just too high. You will not have enough primo gems no matter what you do, no matter where you are in the game, 
you will not get a lot of the characters. That's another very big problem compared to a gen. I will talk about Warframe again. Um, there are many other games that don't have this problem, but I guess the Warframe is the closest thing to this game. And yeah, Warframe, yeah, sure. Uh, it's pretty hard to get the characters, but you're guaranteed. So you can just farm for them. You can even pay for them straight up, like buy the parts for it and buy platinum and buy the parts with platinum and so on and so forth. So it's like, yeah, you, you can do that. And it's pretty, pretty nice because you don't have to like rely on luck. You don't have to rely on a hundred thousand dollars to get all the characters and so on and so forth. So that's another very big problem. And then the next problem I'm going to talk about is the weapon banner. Uh, no, just no, please do not implement weapon banners in your games please if any game dev is listening please do not implement uh, banners where you can get uh, weapons from one banner and then characters from another banner because they're just very bad i would say uh, it's one of the worst things that can happen mainly because even if you get the best character in the game but have a very bad weapon on it then it's not gonna be the best character anyways or vice versa if you get the best weapon but have a very bad character you can get for free or by doing anything is still gonna be useless because the character does not need that weapon so it's like for me for my wolf's greystone to be useful i need to have a razor or i need to have the look which i'm pretty lucky i did get razor but i didn't get my wolf's gravestone that means my razor is pretty bad uh, compared to ra other razors that have uh, wolf's, wolf's greystones right so it's just one of those problems I would say that I do not really like to see. I would say another problem is the quality of life stuff that we don't still have, which we will get. However, I do want to say that I would have loved to see the game come out with all those quality of life changes and the 1.01 update being the new zone, the new map, but it was not. Sadly, it was not whatever i don't care anymore i'm still gonna play the game whenever there's gonna be an update coming out and whenever there are gonna be new stories out i do not care about anything else it's fine because that's how i play this game i play it for the story now since it's very easy i gave up on playing it trying to like make it harder i'm just gonna play through the story give up on the game for three months again and go back into it when there is gonna be an R update and so on and so forth so that's what I'm gonna do. I don't care about anything else or I don't care about what anyone else says. I just wanted to get this off my chest and like explain some of the reasons why people are leaving. And please, white knights in the chat, do not say that this game is perfect or do not say you... I mean, you could disagree with my points, but they are very valid points because like, come on. And the, I think these are... All of them are valid points. Now I don't want to be like, yeah, I know everything, but... Come on, we all know that these are the points in the game, uh, these are valid points and valid problems in the game currently. Hopefully, if you're watching this in like a year or two, everything is changed, which I know you won't watch this when <laughs> in year two, but still, it's like, it's not that fun anymore to just do the same thing over and over and over again, well, not get rewarded for it at all. Uh, again, okay, yeah, let, let's talk about that problem as well, I'm not ending the video right now, let's talk about that problem as well. So... You're doing repeated stuff daily, 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 daily. What are you getting? 300 primo gems per day. That's it. A bit of air level. That's it. Nothing else. Like, come on. Like, why would you play the game even if you get that much? That's a very, very small amount. I don't, I don't get it. You're not get, you're not getting rewarded for playing every single day for even 50 minutes. We get 120 resin. You use it up in four to five, even let's say 10 minutes if it's a hard, uh, if it's a hard dungeon. That's it. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. Only the resin things are the worthwhile things you can get in the game. Everything else is just like I don't think it's rewardable at all. You don't get rewarded for playing the game at all after you do all the story, all the subquests, and basically unlock most of the the hidden chests, the exquisite chests, or the be the best chests, the precious ones. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope I didn't go too harsh, but I'm a type of person that likes to state the problems of the game and i'm not biased i know uh, like come on like, I, i'm biased at all when it comes to games right now i used to be especially when i was too much into Dragon raja i used to be but i saw that that was a problem of mine so i basically now i am a type of person that states all the problems of the, of the game i don't care what anyone thinks 
if I'm right or if I'm wrong. But it's like whatever. I do not want to. I I I I, I would actually just want this game to improve more. To be honest, if it improves more, I'm definitely getting back into it. If it doesn't, well, goodbye Genshin Impact. Who knows? Let's see what the 1.1 up, update has in store for us. Will it last for a month? Will it not? Who knows? We will see. But yeah, and as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and bye-bye until next time.